Gonna go down and do a little surf fishing. I'll show you what I'm bringing. First, I'm bringing my REI Flash. Then I'm bringing this. I got this from D1 Foxy in England. I believe that he sent me that. Dry sack. My camera in. My wallet. My keys. And uh, anything else that I want waterproof. Because I'm gonna be wading probably chest deep. Just with trunks on. So this will keep stuff dry. Stripping basket is used for surf fishing. For your line. The holes are to let the water back out so you don't drown. Got some Sims wading boots. I have some socks in the backpack. Um, some Berkeley Vanish Tippet material. This is a Able Super 8. 6061 aluminum. They put your name on it when you buy it. It's got a disc drag, cork disc drag about that big. It's a great reel. And uh, saltwater flies, clousers, DUIs, sand crabs, etc. etc. Probably start off with the DUI. Uh, either this bat one for bass or this DUI croaker and surf perch and things so a friend of mine he's now passed away Mike Scott Hackle and Tackle Orange California he's in the same shopping center that uh, uh, what's that guy's name the outlaw from Storage Wars the outlaw and his blonde wife uh, oh they have that pawn store there something about time now and again or something like that from Pond Wars. So anyway. And my Sage RX PLI rod, eight weight rod. This is what surf fishing gear for saltwater looks like. Yes, you can saltwater fly fish. They even go for marlin. But with marlin the flies are about from here to about here they don't cast them they troll them so it's not actually fly fishing but in the surf this is actually fly fishing here are a few of the flies I usually start off with I usually start off with either an orange or a chartreuse clouser I believe these are size 6 I believe yeah. on these catch a lot of halibut on these halibut um, bass perch these over here mainly get bass on these. These are just short versions of the clouser. Look at these big barbell eyes. They sink down. I have intermediate line. I have intermediate line. So this sinks, but not real fast. The chartreuse is backing. For when the fly line gets pulled all the way out, which it does from time to time, you still have a good 250 feet of backing, 250 yards of backing. Now these are like surf, I think these are called surf candy, this one I believe. I don't know, these variations of sand crabs and things. This is sand crab. Here's another sand crab. These here do really well on perch, surf perch, barred surf perch. They come down, they hit the sand like this. When the waves go, these feathers just move like this. They get picked up pretty quick. These are three different variations of the DUI fly. Why they call it a DUI, I'm not sure. But a guy uh, took a class at Bob Marriott's Fly Fishing Tackle Store in, I believe it's Anaheim. It's on Orange Thorpe, in between Beach and Harbor. Bob Marriott's used to be called Dale's Hackle and Tackle when I was a kid. But he took a class and later on he came up with this fly. And the guys tried it and it did super in the surf. So he started carrying the flies for the guy. They started off with one type, something like this. Now it comes in different variations, different lengths, different weights. They work really well. Take another look at some of the other ones. 
got squid. It's for off of boats and things. It's black and yellow like Halloween clouser. Never got anything off the surf on these. On the boats I do though. Another DUI. Another DUI. Another DUI. Okay, on a couple of my videos, at least one or two, you've seen the beginning of the San Juan River up the mountains up by Big Bear. Yeah. This is the end of the Santa Ana River where it empties into that side of the beach over there is Huntington and this side over here is Newport. The tide's coming in. So will be the fish. Anyway, I'm in trunks. My Sims later boots so I don't step on hooks, stingrays, etc, etc. And we're going to go out there and see Catalina in the back, way back there. But uh, I got my Sage RXPLI. Three, three piece rod. Okay. We're actually going to go to the north side of the river. There's too many people over there. Crossing over this PCH. Way back there in the distance. San Gabriel's over there. Way back over there, center of the screen. Mount Baldy. We go all the way across this bridge. And all the way out, but that lifeguard stand out there. Okay, we're over here now, and all the way up there, this is where the fresh water meets the salt. Look, there's some ducks over there. Um, and we're seeing something chase the bait fish out there. So the salt water, they do travel up to the fresh water a little ways. We've seen striped bass about 10 years ago, up there about a quarter mile. We're gonna go down here and fish the incoming surf. It's Frank. Okay, we're all set up ready to go. And look at this. Police just came over here and checked us for license. We have them. I've been checked twice this year and mine paid for itself 10 times over. He thought he had us. <laughs> well, we stick out like a sword thumb, Alan. Well, Frank, lucky you had a license, right? <laughs> Here's my, my reel looks like on the rod. It's the Sage RPLXI. Eight weight graphite. This is the one that pro precedes the X2 or the X1, whatever it is. Basically the same rod. Okay, there's a stripping basket. You can also use a milk crate or anything. It just keeps the otherwise the fly line goes all between your legs, catches on the buckles of your boots. It's really hard. You get it all bunched up in here and you go to shoot it at the very end and strip right out of there. That's what, that's, that's what, what's your reel? It was a Galvin Torque? Yep. And you have the Sage Z Axis. Eight weight? Yep. We're both using eight weights. You could probably get by with a five or six, but on that, for a rare occasion you do get something big. You can horse it in with an eight, easy. There go the police. Okay, I'm gonna put away the camera. I don't wanna get any sand or salt water on. I'm taking this out in the water with me. That's why the dry sack. If we catch anything, we'll bring it up here and show it. I'll we'll get a few pictures and we'll break out the camera here at the end, show you the result. Okay, we're back on this side, the south side of the river now. Um, I got one hook, one hit. Frank hooked up once. Something small, probably just surf perch. Nothing really biting. Even the guys using bait weren't having any luck. There's a hill out there. Let's see. Center of the screen. That's Signal Hill. There's an old 70s movie where some guys come down the side, in the center of the screen, this side, on some old Black Knight skateboards with the clay wheels. If anybody knows the name of that movie, go ahead and tell me. My brother has it, so. But, uh, Catalina out, way out that way. Couldn't really film with the salt water and the sand on my hands and things, this camera. So that's surf fishing with a fly rod. Try it again another time.